technique. My colleagues may have harsh opinions about Elias' musical talents, but I see Elias as a man who's just four to one all over WWE. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike, sometimes with a six string on their back. But there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like making model airplanes instead of live music performances if those qualify as such. Hurricane Rana! Oh, breakneck speed, what a Hurricane Rana. Oh, what a close line! Harsh impact! The Swiss Cyborg refusing to be shut down. That's what Cesaro's all about. John Cena is perhaps the most dominant competitor in WWE history. Is there any strategy that can work against Big Match John? When you compete at the level that Cena has, for as long as he has, injuries pop up. Nothing chronic, but he's definitely got a few target areas that an opponent should look out for. Whoa, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. We discussed John Cena's injuries earlier. And Byron, I'm wondering, how would you target them? Well, I'm too honorable personally to attack injuries, but if I was meaner, I'd stomp the tricep he tore against oh, Big move coming. Wait for it. When this guy's on, look. Ooh, what impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Got him good there. Yeah, let's take another look. Oh my gosh! Oh, what an uppercut! Victory is on the horizon. Things just went from bad to worse for Bobby Roode. Face Buster! He's always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. When it comes to Falls Count Anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. And look at the quickness by Cena. Speaking of that classic Charlotte Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the first time ever that the women's championship changed hands in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And guys, I will never forget the image of Charlotte tapping out to that unique thing statement in the crowd surrounded by the WWE Universe. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous Ooh, John Cena may have it. Attitude adjustment! And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Hooked up and backdrop suplex. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson, Sergeant Slaughter, Alley fight had many of the elements of a false count anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh, ooh. You can also see a fatal forward. He's got it in! ESTF! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Our knee is being torn apart now. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. We have seen him here before. Byron nailed it. That should do it. And the champion into the cover. Lightning fast reflexes. Incoming. There he goes, crashing to the floor. 
There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. The champ comes into this match incredibly motivated, though all the motivation in the world might not help here tonight. Half Nelson applied. Neckbreaker! Back now inside the ring. Back in the ring again. Look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Oh boy, he is rolling. Bobby Roode gloriously delivered a fisherman suplex. Can he finish him off here? Hurricane Rana. Oh, nasty impact. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. Well, I don't know. Never say never, Cole. <laughs> nice job getting out of the way of that one goes down hard. Beautiful technique. Big slam. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Here we go. Inverted DDT. The champ's in a real bat. There's the pin title on the line. Here we go. Two. Three. The challenger not looking good right now. This is not at all how the challenger drew this one up. Ooh. The challenger simply will not be denied. Shoulder. What an AA! The champ needs to hurry here. The champion into the cover. And he's heading back in. And Cesaro pops the shoulder up. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Here we go. Ooh, what impact. The air just came out of the Cesaro section with that one. Look out, John Cena is measuring. Oh, what a right hand, oh my God! Slammed with authority. Cesaro is letting his opponent know how to do it on the cut. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh. <laughs> He's in a vulnerable spot now, guys. Look at him. He's wide open for a top. Batista! What a spear from the animal! Outrageous athleticism on the hurt run. Oh, boy, he is real. He's lining him up. Now, that's how you successfully defend your title. They tapped out. It's all over. Well, Falls Count Anywhere matches never disappoint, and this one was no exception. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. showing there and route to the win. There's few things more humiliating than tapping out to your opponent. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.